I lost my father at a very young age uh, from cancer, and so I think at, at times like that, uh, you uh, really look inside yourself to see, is this something that you want to pursue? I think many people would be driven away from medicine, but for me, uh, the experience had a, had a silver lining, and, and I wanted to, to contribute in as many ways as I could. It's pretty interesting because I think every generation in neurosurgery, at least in my time at <clears throat> training, every generation gets up and says, you know what, we, we've, we've found the breakthrough, this, this is it. And we've been disappointed for almost a half century. For the first time, we now have the molecular and genetic understanding of why those past statements didn't ring true and we're correcting it in real time and we're already seeing a benefit. For me, the most rewarding part is looking a patient in the eye, looking their family members in the eye and saying, not only do I hope that things are gonna go well, I can now predict that this mutation that we've discovered that you have, we have a drug for this, we have a laser treatment for this, we have a viral vector therapy for it, we have intraoperative imaging to do a safer surgery, and with certainty, I can say that we're going to increase your lifespan and we're gonna do it in a way that gives you quality of life. My name is Dr. Steve Kalkanis. I'm Chair of Neurosurgery and Medical Director of the Henry Ford Cancer Institute at Henry Ford Health System. My passion is giving hope, and it's in transforming what once was thought impossible to not only possible, but a reality for our patients.